What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Wednesday devotional. We're going to continue our Devo titled Facing the Giant of Fear. Today is day 12. Let's get into it. Today's Devo is titled Where is God in the Storm? When neither sun nor stars appeared for many days and the storm continued raging, we finally gave up all hope of being saved. Acts 27 20. There are many times when God seems inaccessible. When you pray, you feel abandoned in your present circumstances. And not just abandoned, but terrified and even hopeless. Paul understood that feeling. He'd longed for an opportunity to preach in Rome, and was on his way there when a hurricane destroyed his ship. Paul not only foresaw the loss of the ship, its crew and cargo, but our own lives also. He tried to warn the crew of the impeding tragedy, but his words were disregarded by those in charge. In short, Paul and 276 others were placed in a life-threatening position by the willful disregard of others, and there was nothing he could do about it. Feeling a sense of despair, he and his believing companions declared, We finally gave up all hope of being saved. Then after 14 days lost at sea, when the hurricane was fiercest, God sent an angel, Do not be afraid, Paul. God has graciously given you the lives of all who sail with you. When it looked like Paul's consuming desire to preach in Rome would be thwarted, God faithfully piloted them through the storm to the exact destination he'd planned for them. Paul would go to Rome and declare God's word before Caesar. Are you caught in a storm? What trials you're facing today know this one thing. You can trust God to carry you through it. He determines the end from the beginning, Isaiah 46.10. So you will come out of this stronger and wiser. Prayer point. Father, I acknowledge your power and sovereignty. You are the creator of the universe, and I get to speak to you one-on-one. Forgive me, Lord, when I have thought my situation in life was too big a job for you to handle. I pray today, Lord, that you will make me more than a conqueror through Christ, and I will be influential in and for your kingdom. Let's give just a quick summary of, of that Devo. What I got from that was how in times of our lives... We're in a storm. We're, we're in a situation that seems to that seems big. We don't see the outcome. We don't see how, how we could ever get out of the situation. I think a lot of times people in general tend to not look to God first. They kind of look to how can we serve, how can we figure out the situation on our own? And the truth is, is when you face a circumstance where you're where it's tough and difficult and you don't see the outcome, the first thing you should do is look to God and keep your eyes on God and say, God, help me in this. Because he will get you through it. Just like he did with Paul there. When Paul's trying, he's sailing to Rome. He knows the ship is going, he's he's had like a vision that God has given him. That there's going to be a big storm, that the ship's going to wreck. And he's telling the captains of the ship, hey, we we don't need to go out there right now. Like this, this is not a good thing. We need to wait for this storm to pass. And they ignored him and went anyway. Then they get lost at sea. It seems like they're going to die out there because the storm is so bad and they're lost. But then God sends an angel to Paul to tell him, hey, if you're going to be okay. God's going to get you there. Just just trust God. We're going to get you through. Even though the, those, we, those guys didn't listen to you in your circumstance and now you're in this situation, don't worry. God's still going to get you through this storm. And sure enough, God uh, puts them right in Rome, right where they needed to be. So... Um, I think in our own lives, we need to do that same thing. Trust God in those bad circumstances, in the moments where everything is seems like there's no way out. Putting that faith in God and saying, God, get me through, and, and uh, he'll, he'll do it. Let's break down the scripture they used, which was Acts chapter 27, verses 20 through 25. And we're going to break this down using our SEEK method, which stands for Scripture, Examine, Exercise, and Carrero. So the first S here in SEEK, which is Scripture... This is Acts 27, verses 20 through 25. The terrible storm raged for many days, blotting out the sun and the stars, until at last all hope was gone. No one had eaten for a long time. Finally, Paul called the crew and said, Men, you should have listened to me in the first place and not left Crete. You would have avoided all this damage and loss. But take courage. None of you will lose your lives, even though the ship will go down. For last night an angel of the God whom I belong and whom I serve stood beside me, and he said, Do not be afraid, Paul, for you will surely stand trial before Caesar. What's more, God in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. So take courage, for I believe God. It will be just as he said. 
So when we do the E in seek, examine, examining that scripture. When I examine this scripture, for one, I just I just look at that and I, you just look at Paul and how how confident he is, how much confidence he has in God. When you look at that scripture and you you, you see where he says like, hey, y'all should have listened to me. You guys should have listened to me back there. I know you didn't, but it's okay because God's got our back. And God sent an angel to me last night and told me, hey, nobody on this ship is going to die. The ship's going down. You're going to lose your ship. You're going to lose all that, but you're not going to die. God's going to protect us and he's going to get us to Rome. Just the confidence Paul has in God is, is amazing and awesome. And it's the confidence I strive to get to and I work on every day getting to is that knowing no matter my circumstance, God's got my back and he's going to get me through and he's going to take me to where he wants me to go. So that's just encouraging and, and uh, cool to me to know that. The second E in seek, which is exercise, exercising this into our everyday life. Just having that faith in those in those struggles, in those hard times in your life, trusting God, pray, ask him for the strength, ask him for the courage to face whatever it is that you're going through and, and for him to just bring you peace in the moment and God will get you through it. And so that's how you could exercise that into your life. Then the last letter of seek, the K, Carrero, which is having a conversation with somebody. So in this circumstance, we're going to talk to God and pray to Him. Father, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for this day. I thank you for every person watching, God. I thank you, God, for, for being with me in every situation or circumstance that I'm in. And when I feel like I, I'm not going to get out, knowing that you are there and you're going to get me to the place in which you called me to, and there is a light at the end of the tunnel, Lord. I ask that you would bless each and every person watching, Everyone going through a situation where they they don't they can't see the end they don't see the the end in sight. Uh, I just pray that that uh, they would take courage and uh, trust in you, Lord, that you're going to get them through that. Be with them, Father. I love you. Thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Have a great day.